This is Kevin with Pinehurst Websites and today I'm going to show you how to add products to Shopify and also how to edit those products if you would like to edit the products. So I've added some products to this site already and I've imported them. Uh, I have other videos on how to import products but I'm going to show you how to manually add products. So you see I clicked on products on the left hand menu to bring up my list of products and it's going to show me the inventory, the type of product that is, and the vendor. Now these are defaults within Shopify. You can sort by these, but um, you can't. So see, I could reverse sort uh, by title alphabetically by clicking the top. I can also uh, sort items by inventory or by type, but you cannot change these. Um, you cannot change these fields uh, that are shown here uh, currently but you can change them in one of the edits and I'll show you that a little bit later but let's first just add a product to um, to the site so I'm gonna go in and click add product and I'm just gonna create a title for the product that I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a uh, a necklace here so I want to be as descriptive as possible with this so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to here and I'm just gonna create a title I'm just going to call this cone shell jade necklace with moonstone. It's not required that you add a description, but it's a good idea to add a description just for the uh, sake of argument. I'm just going to use the same uh, description that I have in this, but you want it to be more descriptive. This is going to be your title, which is going to be the most searchable thing within Google for SEO. And then this is going to be uh, your copy which people see underneath which is called the meta description and this is going to be what you use to get people to click on that search result basically uh, so let's go ahead and <clears throat> create upload an image and I'll just go to uh, images here that I have And I went ahead and uploaded an image. I also like to put some alternate text, uh, which is descriptive and kind of tells Google or the other search engines what this is a picture of. And then you just need a price. And then if you want to have a compare at price, this will show on the website as like a retail price. So I'm going to leave that blank for right now. You can enter a SKU if you have one here and a barcode here. They're not required, but I'm just going to create one. And these can be any SKUs that you create if you have a some sort of uh, SKU numbers for your products. Barcodes, you want to use the barcode or, and you can just type that in here. Uh, you don't have to track inventory. If you choose to track inventory, it will ask you to put in a quantity. And this allows you to let customers purchase it if it's out of stock. Using a weight, if you want to use a, um, a weight, you can put it in and however you want to put it in. Uh, on, on this site, we use pounds. Uh, so I'm going to put this in in ounces or pounds. Uh, we're on the, um, as opposed to kilograms or grams. So I'm just going to put in a weight of say, let's say 12 ounces. And if you do ship shipping uh, rates based on weight, you need to have a weight or it will not charge a shipping rate unless you're doing a flat rate or, or if you're doing free shipping. So the product type in this case is necklace. Uh, that's, I've already created a few categories uh, for product types. And the product types I use, I use them sometimes to put them into a collection so you can put things in collections based on the title the product type uh, the vendor or the tags so um, so the vendor is going to be Termasu limited and then if I wanted to put in a tag I could put in any type of tag like uh, seashell for instance and I could use that to create a uh, seashell or sea life or something like that. I could use a tag to create a collection if I wanted to or to filter uh, items by tags. They're not required. 
So I'm going to just use uh, C life. And then I'm going to save my item. Now I can view it on the website by clicking here. So my item's now on the website here. So that's all there is to adding an item. Uh, just put in a title, uh, use a description to really thoroughly describe that, something more maybe than I put right here. And then put your item on there. If you want to put some alternate text like I did, that will help the search engines to understand what that image is about. Uh, and then put in a price. If you have a SKU you want to use, you can put that SKU in. And let's take a look at this within the products here. So if we were searching for this item within the products, we could search that. <clears throat> we could also search it by its SKU. Now, if we want to take a look at our products here, one way to look at products um, is you can select your products and you can edit the products. Now you can show all of the products or just the 50 that are on the first page. If you have a lot of items, you may want to see all your products. But you may just want to filter these products as well. So this is a good way to edit products without having to go into the product to edit them. So let me just show you what I did here. So if you want to go in and edit a product, you can go into that product and let's say we want to make a change. Let's just say it's a price change. So now, once I make that edit, I have the option to, to make a change right here. And I could say, uh, you know, I can make changes to the description, I can make changes to the title. But once I have typed in that, I will have that option to, to make that change. So I made a price change, but if you don't want to go in or you want to make uh, edits more quickly, you can do it this way. So if we go back to products and you can click products on the left hand side or just hit the back arrow like I did at the top. So if I want to make a lot of edits to multiple products, see I click this checkbox to select the items I want or I could filter more specifically. So let's say I want to just make uh, changes to products that have a product type of bracelet for instance. I can go to bracelet and I can add a filter. Now I'm only showing items that are bracelets. So I'm going to check mark this and I'm just showing the bracelets. And I want to show all 50 plus products that match my filter search. Now that I've selected them, I can hit edit products and this allows me to go through and make edits on products. So right now I'm only showing uh, certain fields, but I can show any fields that I would like to edit here. So let's say I wanted to edit tags for instance. So now I've just added that. So now I'm showing the tags field as well. So these are all the tags. If I want to change some of the tags, I can go in, I can delete those or add new tags. So now I've added a new tag where I can delete a tag, but I can go through quickly and edit my products and I can just show the fields that I want to see. So I can really customize all the fields that I want to edit. Price or maybe uh, SKU or UPC, I can show everything that I want. This one doesn't have a SKU, uh, so maybe I want to go in and make an edit to that way. It does have a SKU, it's under the variant here under the variant color. So I can go in and make edits to that SKU if I wanted to. And then make my change. Just hitting enter will make any changes that I have. So this is a very quick way. So maybe I want to show a different field. I don't want to show the tags field. I'm going to take that out of here. Hit the drop down and show the fields that I want to show, which may be inventory tracking or it may be inventory quantity. So I may want to just go through and change some inventory. So instead of zero, maybe I want to show an increased inventory in that. So this is a quick way to make edits uh, to your products and you can filter just the products that you want to edit. So whether you want to change the titles or whatever it is you want to change in here, 
it's very simple to go in and make edits to these items. And then when you're finished, you can just save those edits. If you want to discard the edits, you can just discard right there. So this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and uh, this video has been about adding products and then making edits to products, whether you want to make them one at a time or make them in bulk. Thanks for tuning in to Pinehurst Websites, and you can find out uh, more of my videos at pinehurstwebsites.com. And again, I'm Kevin King. Thank you.